Hello, my name is Demet Ikiler. It's a great pleasure to be here in this this year, next year event in Russia. I'm the CEO of Group M in Europe, Middle East and Africa. I'm still relatively new in my role. I started at the beginning of March this year, just before uh, the COVID has started actually, and it was before the lockdowns. And I really wished I could have been with you in Moscow today, but unfortunately I'm reaching out to you through this video. So today I'm here to talk about a little bit myself and also my journey with diversity and inclusion. I've started my career almost three decades ago in Turkey, and my journey with WPP has started 20 years ago. I joined WPP to set up Mindshare in Turkey. We started from scratch to build a new agency in a market where we had a lot of ups and downs. It was a journey like a roller coaster. And I did this role for 10 years and we grew really significantly. We became the biggest agency in Turkey in our six years and my share in Turkey has still uh, this position. And after doing the role for 10 years and moved to launch Group M in Turkey, and that was also an interesting experience for me because we were the first founder of um, Group M. And then we have built a great platform where we helped our agency to grow faster, further, and we became really successful. After four years of doing this role, and uh, the WPP um, approached to me and asked if I could do a country role to um, expand my responsibility uh, all around the WPP operations in Turkey. And this is what I've started doing. And after doing 10 years, WPP and Group M, uh, I came with this new role uh, in the region and I stepped out uh, from my comfort zone and I um, started doing a regional role, Group M. EMEA is the biggest region in the global organization, and that has been a big challenge for me. Having said that, I also um, need to talk about, you know, the journey and the experiences uh, which uh, has brought to me. Because being a woman in a country like Turkey has been really uh, challenging time to time. I had great team, I had great support from WPP, Group M, uh, throughout the whole experience. But also, I felt that, that I needed a lot of allies um, to achieve what I wanted to achieve. So my experience with diversity and inclusion started um, throughout that period. And I knew that what I achieved um, doing my role um, taught me a lot about how I can help women, how I, can, how I can set up a role model and then help them to achieve their goals. What we know about diversity and inclusion is never enough. There are always different perspectives that gives you a different point of view. To understand what inclusion really is, we need to put different lenses and took the world from their eyes. If you start to understand them, I mean the minority groups, truly learn from them, then you can make the right decisions to support and help them. My journey is a great example to understand there is always room to go. When I started my regional role, as I said before, I started to understand the issues in different markets are totally different. And there are lots of things that I need to learn and understand better, like the black communities, now I'm one of the mentees in Group M Bridge Initiative, and I learn a lot from my mentor, a totally different awakening for me. Equality means to give additional support to the minority and underrepresented groups. I am a devoted sustainability advocate. I try to be present in every platform that I can raise my voice, educate people, and myself, and also the men. The power we have as a group, as a person, it's really big. When we use it for a good reason, like WPP Purpose, build a better future for our people, clients, and communities, and Group M says, 
to be responsible for shaking, shaping the next era of media where advertising work, advertising works better for people. I personally have had many challenges because throughout my career, I've always been building something from the very early stages. First, it was Mindshare, then Group M and WPP, country role. But beyond that, Turkey has been probably the biggest challenge itself as a country because, I mean, that has been really like a roller coaster, as I said. Financial crisis, big earthquake, terroristic attacks, you know, big disaster almost every couple of years. So we were always dealing with ambiguity and uncertainty. Always we needed to have a plan B and getting ready for a response, depending on how things go. That's really uh, given me a resilience, which is helping me uh, today a lot. Also, I was a young mother when I took my mindshare job. I had a baby at home, one and a half years old son, and a baby at work to grow. So that was a big challenge. We all grew up together my son, myself, the company. It's that experience which also triggered me to try and help other women who are going through the same phases in their lives. I started mentoring, coaching, and now with Group M, it's one of the only companies in the communication industries in the country and also in the region that has signed up to the, you know, a lot of gender equality pledges. In Turkey, we are also a part of um, United Nations Global Compact. I'm um, the vice president in charge of diversity and inclusion chapter, and I'm still learning and I'm still contributing in that area in my country. And I'm also taking what I've been learning from Turkey to the region, and we are also initiating a lot of uh, platforms, actions, and ideas. As Group M and WPP, we really take it seriously, diversity and inclusion. We are the biggest advertising, advertising group in the world, so we have the power to drive the positive change, that's for sure. As Group M, we promise to provide equal opportunities in all our employment conditions for recruitment, employment relation process, compensations and benefit, access to training, promotion, retirement, etc. At the heart of our principle of equality, we also expect our business partners to give equal treatment and provide equal opportunities to all their employees as well. So we create the chain. What we want to achieve is strengthening uh, the talent pipelines, increased representation of diversity at all levels, particularly senior roles, better work at all levels, microdiversity of thought driving better. Macrodiversity is really helping us to improve the business performance, breaking down silos and creating opportunities for different connections, relationship and idea generation as well. It's so important to have great partners and people to share and collaborate with this uh, project. The first meeting that I had in my uh, new EMEA role uh, was with all markets um, to help uh, with the relief of coronavirus. We started doing these calls on a regular basis. All leaders from EMEA joined those calls. They brought specific initiatives, specific ideas. We all learned from each other and there were so many projects uh, going out uh, from those sessions. We've created initiatives such as diverse mentorship program, the bridge that I've already mentioned, and also, um, you know, uh, WPP on a much uh, greater scale and scheme, and they started this um, um, inclusion board. They launched the inclusion board. And um, I've been also uh, invited to take part in this board. The purpose of this board is uh, to advise our CEO, Mark Reed, an executive committee, and assist in accelerating change throughout WPP. The role is to give a voice to underrepresented group at the highest level of WPP, recommend programs, policies, and initiatives that will systematically create more inclusive and diverse workplaces, provide input on leadership succession, remove barriers to progress, and assist in setting aspirational targets for evaluating underrepresented talent. As you know, 
Last June, WPP announced a self of commitments and actions to help combat racial injustice and support black and other people of color. We are working on a framework to help us deliver on each of the commitments to increase representation of diversity across company at all levels, embed inclusion and diversity imperatives into the fabric of our company, to establish goals and metrics to measure progress and ensure accountability and to create sustained momentum that we can be proud of and our clients benefit from. I think once a leadership team is committed to changing things, once a leadership team is committed to see things from different perspectives, and once a leadership team is open to embrace people so that they feel that they belong, then the conversation around exclusivity will never end. I feel that's exactly what's happening at WPP and at Group M as well. In Turkey, we have still um, serious issues in women representation in workplace. And share of women in the labor force is still low, 34.5%. The same problem, it's even worse problem, is LGBT and also people with disabilities. The other important problem, and Turkey specific, is the inclusion of the refugees. We have more than 3 million refugees in Turkey right now. So problems may vary according to countries, but the common problem is to find inclusive solutions for underrepresented groups. There are always same problems for same groups. And I think what we have also in common with you um, as Russia and Turkey, maybe the definition of diversity and inclusion could be different and the percentages ratios can be also different. But the way we approach it should be very similar because I know culturally we have a lot of similarities. When I speak uh, with my Russian colleagues, we always find a lot of similarities between our countries. So um, I think there is always hope. It requires commitment, it requires programs, it requires also um, creating allies around the issues. So we all together help to solve them and, and create a better future. Thank you for having me.